Boatworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boatworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. Hey everybody, welcome to Boatworks Today. My name is Andy, and this is a channel that is all about helping the DIY person repair and maintain their own boats. Now this video specifically is going to be a follow-up to our previous video where we came through and made a mold of our non-skid texture on, on, uh, on a, you know, say on your deck or on a cabin top, uh, you, that you can in the future use this mold for doing repairs if you happen to get a scratch or a ding or a chip or whatever in your non-skid. So if you haven't seen that episode, I will include a link for that right here. And well, I think that's about it. Let's get started. <laughs> Uh, oops, I think. Now, just as before when we were making this mold, I'm gonna treat both of these surfaces with four light coats of PVA or polyvinyl alcohol. Now, you may be asking yourself, why in the world am I spraying PVA directly over the area that I need to fill with gel coat? I mean, it's, it's not gonna stick, right? Well, there's a reason. By coming in and spraying everything with PVA and then grinding it back out, I'm gonna be able to ensure that the gel coat is only going to stick exactly where I want it. Everything else will just flake right off and it will be left with a perfect patch. And here I just mixed up some stock gel coat that I had left over. It's not color match, but for this, you know, for this demonstration, it doesn't need to be. Now with the gel coat mixed, I'm being very careful to get the mold perfectly lined up with the part that we're going to be looking to cast the, the new non-skid texture in. The pattern itself has to line up and more or less lock into place. Once we, once we get it where we want it, then I, we tape off one edge to hold it. And then now we can pour in our gel coat. Now, be very generous when you're pouring in your gel coat. You want the excess to squeeze out and you need to make sure that you have enough gel coat laid into your repair area to where it will completely fill and give you a good positive casting. Now, this panel happens to be perfectly flat. So I'm gonna be laying a perfectly flat piece of plywood on top and then weighting it down with two cans of paint. And I would say there's probably 10, 15 pounds between these two cans. Well, it is the following morning, so let's peel this off and see how it turned out. Mm, it all popped up. Nice, I think we're in good shape. Let me, let me go grab some water to, uh, to wash off this PVA, and then we'll be able to see our print a little bit better. And this, all of this excess gel coat that was bas that basically got squeezed out when we put the mold down, this, this was laid right over top of PVA. So if I can find an edge here, this should just chip right off. Well, after a little bit of picking away at the edges, uh, you know, getting all of this excess flaked off, it turned out fantastic. The, the pattern in here is spot on. It's aligned with the, the surrounding area. Now, one thing that I should have done that would have made it look better here is if I actually used color matched gel coat. And I chose not to do that for two reasons. Honestly, the main reason was that I just didn't want to go through the time of, of color matching a gel coat for this. But one other part of that is that by not using a color match gel coat, it's, it, you're able to see the patch so that I can do a before picture and then I can show you this picture. So at least, so you can see that it is the actual repair area and I didn't try and pull any uh, funny business and, and, and try and show a picture of an area that was never damaged to begin with. So had this been a color match gel coat, this would be done. You know, we just peeled it off, flaked off the excess, and it's, you're good to go. 
And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. And then in the next video, then we'll be covering another way that we can use this mold for doing, say, like larger areas where you have to completely reskin, like we had to completely reskin this little example panel. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. I will include a link for that. Let's put it right here this time. And if you're watching this on mobile, I'll include a link down below in the description for that as well. If you enjoyed this video, please show a little love, give it some thumbs up, and share it on social media, you know, Facebook, Twitter. And as always, I want to thank you for your time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below in the description. And until next time, thanks for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.